Once upon a time, there came a beautiful city named Hong Kong. It has a splendid harbor, being famous as the Oriental Pearl. It was a world-renowned international financial center, despite it was geographically small in size. People living in this city are extremely hardworking. Some of them work overnight or work for long-standing hours with no complaints. Being studious had built them perseverance, efficiency, and flexibility. Even in typhoon or traffic problems, they find their way back to work. Nothing can stop them. Will, nothing can stop their will to work. Traveling, traveling abroad is the only way that potentially releases them for working. The reason for working so hard is to maintain their quality life and provide a comfortable dwelling to their families. Even the flat is expensive. Those more, they feel it is worth if their families are happy. With that, they build their roots of life in Hong Kong. But since 2020, many families left their home. This picture was a mom bidding her daughter farewell at the departure gate of Hong Kong Airport. Many leavers got separated from their parents and friends. They only wanted to find another way to protect their culture, their next generations, and the core value of Hong Kong. They wanted to build a new home in another cities to achieve another hope in new places. At that time, many countries changed their immigration policies for Hong Kongers, for different types of families, students, or youth. They could choose the policies and countries that they were qualified. Hong Kong as a colony of Britain, many Hong Kongers were granted British national overseas status before it was returned to the communist China in 1997. All BNO holders and their departures are offered opportunities to apply for a visa to live in the UK. With the Sino-British Joint Declaration in, signed in 1984, Hong Kong was pledged to be unchanged for 50 years after handover. However, as Hong Kongers, most of you know, it was empty promise. CCP said Joint Declaration was only a historic document. As a result, they have taken risks to start life anew in different countries, despite forsaking their well-established professional capacities. They tried new scope of jobs like warehousing works, where they have no prior experience. Changes are massive. In 2019, triggered by the anti-extradition amendment to China, more Hong Kongers got awakened, awakened to fight for freedom. With ever rising conflicts between the Hong Kong government and civilians. Meanwhile, some youngsters took courage to stand up for their freedom and future. Sadly, many of them got arrested due to rioting charges during protests. Many Hong Kongers are furious at the government's oppression. Moreover, Publishers, which, we, which was opposite to the government, has been closed and the bank accounts have been frozen. Not only publishers, also some of the protesters, it increased the level of insecurity of Hong Kongers. More and more Hong Kongers are leaving Hong Kong. They mostly call themselves Hong Kongers to declare the separation with China. This name also represents the special culture of Hong Kong, plus their sense of belongings. Many Hong Kongers who have arrived in the United Kingdom still hold on to their deep-seated memories of the key political events happened since 2019. It is the way that 
they preserve their value and continue to stand with Hong Kong. The Hong Kongers are carrying their burden while they are building their new life. It's not easy for them. Language, cultures, jobs, education, and living pace are all their basic needs. They also build up their friendship with locals. Their difficulties seems that they lost their sight, even they have eyes. They need somebody to guide them, help them, and walk along with them. Do you want to help them with God's love? I am the lucky one to be helped by my pastor, Alan Price. Every newcomer from Hong Kong may need someone like her who is radically listening, welcoming, helping, walking alongside and praying with. Do you want to be the one? There are already almost 100,000 Hong Kongers having been granted BNO visas. The needs are here now. They have broken heart, forsaking career in Hong Kong, limited knowledge and information of the UK. All their stories, needs and limitations made a gap in their heart and their life. Our Baptist family, are you ready to welcome them and fill the gap? What can we do to help them? Thank you for listening.